you mentioned Cheeky was the one who sort of calmed you down and, and everything. Do you think you're a, a different, more laid-back manager these days? Because, you know, we've seen the one, you know, the pep that was kicking the chair when they took the quick free kick, which would suggest you're still as um, pumped up as ever. Do you, are you a more laid-back character now than the one that first arrived? A karma character? Should no, I would say mainly quite the same, but of course I'm changed. The people change for the experiences. It's not an exception. But uh, always when I react like this, because I'm an emotional man, when I move my arms on my... No, my arms, I would say, yeah, my arms and my hands in, in this way, is because, and it's because it's emotion and it's what it is. When I was a football player and I see some clips, it was quite similar. So. Football must be lived in, I think, in that way. We respect the opponents, respect your absolute players, and so on. But everyone is who it is, so it cannot cannot be changed of that. Uh, at, yeah, I know, but it is obviously a, a game of a, a tribal game, an emotional game, and one thing or another. But you also do get people who get too emotionally involved and do calm down. Do you? Have you always then been this this same person, or no, I'm did not you so, have to chill out a little bit? No, I'm not so proud sometimes how we react, honestly. Afterwards, I said, what I've done this, Pep, why? So I don't like it many, many times, especially I like when I finish the game, I go inside, but sometimes go outside, that, but that I feel it in that moment. Sometimes it's something I don't even realise, you know? And I don't like it many, many times, but it's what it is, so... I'm not perfect and I don't want to be and sometimes make mistakes and accept it and apologise and I do apologise, it's not a problem. Is, is that one of the things that when it stops getting you like that, that's when you know, oh, maybe it is time to step away yeah. because it's not getting you? Yeah, of course, of course. But yeah, it's who I am. My mum and dad made me in that way, so what can I do? Blame them. <laughs> Sam? Hi, Pep, you've, you've ticked an awful lot of boxes in the nine years that you've been Sorry? here. Ticked a lot of boxes. You won the title, uh, double, treble, Centurion, rivalry of Liverpool, four in a row. Is there anything else left that you feel there is still left to achieve at the club? And how, how, do, you, you, how do you maintain that, that hunger within I yourself? I like my job. I said many times, I love what I do in terms of numbers or titles I always done. Yeah, I would say a long time ago. So I didn't even ever expect when we arrived. I, I don't speak in, on behalf of Chiki, but I think Chiki myself, when you know when we arrived, we never thought do it in the way we have done it in a, and and that. But still, I like come here every morning to to work. I love it. So thinking walls and what the message I have to tell them, the image I have to see, the drinks I have to prepare. Still, I like it, and this is the main reason. Though I'm a manager, when I don't feel this, no, I'm not leaving Man City. I will not be manager. I will not train. So that's for sure. Uh, you probably are aware of this, but there is a debate in this country about who the the best Premier League manager has been. Man City fans will say you. Man United fans <clears throat> will say Sir Alex Ferguson. The longer you go on, obviously, the more uh, the more compelling the evidence will become. That you are you are the best that that's ever been. Do, it, does that does that motivate you at <laughs> all to at have all. that that legacy? At all, at all. I want to be happy every day when I come. I don't do it to. Of course, we win titles. Give you the chance. Give you the chance. Uh, give, give you the chance to have job. It's only we give it to you, but it's not not the pleasure, honestly. So in that country, I think in all around the world, Sir Alex Ferguson is the best for the time for the change teams and look the Kevin Trophy. So being close to the one of the most important managers of all time is that it's not enough, more more than enough. It's an incredible honor. For me, for all the staff, all the system I had, all the players I have, for me it's an honor. It's not for me. So when the people say Pep is one of the best, or that is for the players I had, for the managers, the system coaches we have all together, we have many. And all of them we create that sense that we are we are good. And this is Enough. I don't. I don't fight for. I like because I want to win balls desperately. I want to prepare well and I want to win it. But I live better and make my people happy. Our fans, of course, and our people who, who believe in you. You know, when you lose, it's oh, you're you think you disappoint the people who trust you, who believe in you, and that I don't like that feeling. That's why I want to 
win to still be proud and enjoy, you know, the moments in the canteen, in the training pitch and wherever the very best. And this is the only I'm concerned. So I never, you, you have to understand me, never ever in my life I could think for one second God or achieve what we achieved together for many, many years as a manager. As a football player even, but as a manager, impossible. Not even in my best dreams. So I'm not anything to ask more right now. No, I have to do this. I want to win walls, but it is a process. And after, if I win leaving another trophy, that's fine. Would we want it? Yeah, of course we want another Premier League. If we want to arrive in the last stage as the Champions League and try to win it again, of course we want. But I know the difficulty, I know that many things is completely different when you never won and the you won and I have to handle it and and that's why I still we are here. Who will on a job like that? Do you have a best manager you try and emulate? Is there a someone you put on a pinnacle still? Sorry? Is there the best manager of all time? Do you still have someone that you're aiming for? Is there a name no. out there you still look up to? No. No, and it's not a name, absolutely not. So what is the, what is the considered the best? Because you win more trophies than the other one? It's a personal thing. It, it, that's the point. We always said perfectly. For the United fans, always will be Sir Alex. Absolutely fine. So the person say, no, it's my best club because I win title. Their clubs that like you never win, and for the people, it's the best club in the world because they feel it, they love it. You know, when the team Manchester City was in main road and maybe they don't win that one in the last 50, 20 years, the people love it. Man City unconditionally, and they love that club. You don't need to to win trophies to, you know, to love one club. So it's it's not. They're incredible. Manage didn't win because they didn't have big clubs, big hierarchies, big, you know, position that help you, you know, to win. Uh, I'm not saying I'm about manager. Otherwise, could not be here for a long time and be in success. But to be best or not best, that is, but believe me, it's not important. Just to say Djokovic is better than Nadal, Nadal than Federer, Federer and then Djokovic. So all three are exceptional. They make this a sport, tennis a sport. Watch their finals. It was, wow, my God, during three, four hours, it was unbelievable. Every shot, you have the heart like, oh, it's going to explode. They bring all of them limits. For one will be Djokovic, for another one will be Rafael, another one will be Federer. All of them. They're better. It's the same. So my contender as a manager, Jurgen Klopp, make me better manager. Jose Mourinho made me better manager. Mikel Arteta now is making better manager. It's, we need that. So it's happened. Everything to be the very best. Pfft. This is not. I think honestly, it's, it's not the point. You were mentioning before when you don't enjoy management, you'll step away completely from it. Obviously, you've worked with Cheeky for many years. Is sporting director a role you'd ever consider? No. Pundit, groundsman, referee. I will criticize my manager a lot. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I like the grass, honestly. I like the green, the, the there. To be with the tight and the, mm -mm. I don't like. Finish with Joe, please, guys. Um, Pep, you're up against um, Gary O'Neill this weekend. He's one of the only three English managers now in the Premier League. Do you think we might see a situation one day where, where, where there's no English managers in the Premier League? And I also, hope, does, it, does it does it would it matter anyway, even if? We didn't have any English managers. The Premier League would carry on anyway. I hope not. I understand completely that people won't relate the UK match national team being British and as much as normal. And every country is the same. It's the same. You just want to advise and take the opportunity to learn. Like we learn of them, they can learn for the foreign, the German or Brit or Spanish or Catalan or Italian or whatever. So that is life. Everyone learn for everyone. So. In London, don't live just British people there, <laughs> you know? In New York, don't live just American people there. So there are millions, millions of people then, you know, aboard to live there, to contribute to the country, getting better, to make the businesses or live lives or whatever. This is what about. This is what about. We live in community for all around the world today. Before it was more difficult, where the people could not fly, but now it's not the, everyone is everyone. And as much you are open, is the, the culture is back and forth. It's not just, you know, and had opportunity to to learn or learn not just to see. Maybe I like and like it for the people from other countries. That is the culture about. That is make us better. Absolutely. You travel to Germany or Qatar or now here, I feel better. You know, as a person, I feel better. 
I'm more patient, I'm more, I understand the empathy, I understand your culture, I understand why you are done it this, why you're doing that, you know? And I do what I feel, and if the people like it, they wanna let, it's fine. But what I like, of course I would like to be British, you know, uh, people in the league, it's normal, you know? And I understand completely, but at the same time, okay, now is Thomas there, okay? Why should not support him? Why should not, okay, he's the manager, let's go. You know, and no, Thomas, no, we win, we'll be good. If he doesn't win, we'll be criticized. It doesn't matter, it happens everywhere. But once the Federation has decided, me, in my side position, I will support, like I support Gareth. So, because I won a very best, because just for the fact, I was living here almost one decade. So, it's simple. I understand that, but in terms of the Premier League, obviously you have quotas for players so that we have homegrown players come through, but yeah. do you think maybe that the managers now need some protection? Because as you say, as more people travel and whatever, there's probably less opportunities for English coaches. I just yeah. wondered if, if there yeah. could be any rules. I, I would say I don't know the reason why, because at the end, of course, the owners, some of them is a, a chick at the end, maybe appoint me to me because he knew me for Barcelona, right? If the sport directors are British and the other one. So I spoke with them, my players. How is Lee Carsley, for example? How is Gareth? And they speak highly. They speak highly about them. It's really, really good. So, but the decisions, I don't know the reason why. Maybe you, you can know it better than me. So I don't know. Thank you, guys. Okay, thank you.